We'll have those stories and more coming up on tonight's 10 p.m. report. Serving and informing the Twin Cities for four decades. This is WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And now, Dave Moore, Pat Miles, Mike Fairborn, and Mark Rosen bring you Channel 4's 10 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. It was revealed tonight that the disease AIDS has been detected in 40 to 50 school-aged children in... 41. KSTP-TV, St. Paul, Minneapolis, Channel 5. Leading the news today, just a half an hour ago in Wyzetta, a day-long standoff came to a close. The suspect in the shooting death of a Wyzetta police officer turned the gun on himself. Two other people were wounded in the suspect's shooting spree and rushed to North Memorial Hospital. We'll have a complete report. We'll also take you to Anoka, where Han's Bakery reopened today after being given the all-clear from the health department. And we're going to go to the Minnesota State Fair with media commentator Michael Boyle. That and more coming up in the next half hour on Eyewitness News at Five. Eyewitness News at Five with meteorologist Dennis Falcon and newscaster Cindy Bercato. Good afternoon, everyone. A 37-year-old Wyzetta man who went... Are you full? I am. What okay. a forecast. <laughs> But summer will not come back by popular demand, right? I don't right? think so. The end. Bye-bye. Thank you, Paul. And next on 11 News Extra, a battle of notes. Or should we say notes? The battle for listeners coming up. You are watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. This is the 10 p.m. Report. Good evening, everyone. AIDS in Minnesota schools. Even before the disease is detected, Minnesota health officials have stepped in to deal with the illness and the fear. You are watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. This is the 6 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. For two years, pickets have been protested. The week in space. CBS News selective coverage of the mission of Gemini 9. Now the docking in space of Gemini 9 and its target vehicle. Reporting from the CBS News Space Center at the McDonnell Aircraft Plant in St. Louis, correspondent Walter Cronkite. Everything is going very well with Gemini 9. Live from WFSB, Connecticut's first choice for news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 6. We begin tonight with breaking news out of the capital city. The home of Hartford Mayor Eddie Perez has been searched by criminal investigators. Concerned now on Eyewitness News. In hindsight, I shouldn't have used a city contract. That was a mistake. Tonight, the mayor of the capital city is under investigation by the state's attorney. Good evening. There are cries of corruption tonight. Thursday at 8, 7 central on My Network TV. Good evening. Next to 10 on Nonstop News, holding out hope for two small children severely injured in a deadly house fire. Two churches in West Hartford have been robbed. I'm Bob Wilson. Straight ahead as investigators look into it. It turns out it's just the tip of the iceberg. And what would you do with $245 million? People across the state are buying up those Powerball tickets for the big drawing this evening. But first, here's Gil with a quick check of the weather. Good evening, everyone. Another up. Nonstop News at 10 starts now. More than a dozen church break ins across Connecticut now. We begin with breaking news in New Britain. Police are investigating the discovery of human remains found in a wooded area behind a shopping center. NBC 30's Amanda Rouse live with late breaking details. Amanda. Jerry, Lisa, witnesses say police have been on the scene here. News Channel 8 at 6 starts right now. Now, with coverage you can count on, this is News Channel 8 at 6. 
Good evening, I'm Ted Coppy. I'm Ann Nyberg, a confirmation hearing for a controversial judge. Damaging This Fox 61 Family First message is brought to you by Sleepies. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? The Fox 61 News at 10 begins right now. A gruesome discovery in New Britain where tonight police are investigating human remains. Good evening. First on Fox tonight, that grim discovery is at the center of a mystery tonight in New Britain. Police secret. You're watching Connecticut's Prime News with stories tonight from New Britain, New Haven, Waterbury, and Seymour. Paradise spoiled. We flew into Cancun. It's the same flight as our we stayed here exactly 24 hours before having to go home. Hurricane Dean sends tropical tourists packing. How the U.S. is bracing for the warm. Plans to build an underwater natural gas pipeline in Bramford are next for now. A growing trend here in Connecticut. I'll tell you why more women are enrolling in self-defense classes. You're watching the Fox 61 News at 10, Connecticut's Prime News. Das deutsche Fernsehen mit der Tagesschau. Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Die Ameri Now, live from Jacksonville, this is Fox 30 News at 10. Followed home and robbed at gunpoint. A terrifying drive for two young Potabedro women. Life in the limelight. A local Jaguar player sounds off about Michael Vick's trouble. Find out how you can weigh in. Home you're just alone. Here you're with everybody. A home alone alert. We'll show you where your kids can go to stay safe after school. And from pop princess to problem parent, Brittany's in trouble again. Welcome, I'm Mark Spain. And I'm Paige Kelton. Right now, we are following breaking news on the north side. That's right. You're watching Fox 30 News at 10 with Paige Kelton, Mark Spain, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Bird. Welcome back. I'd like to take a quick moment to welcome our new member of the Fox family, Mark Spain. Welcome. Very happy to have you with it us. It is here now with a special Sesame Street nightly news report. Today's word is squid. Squid is a fantastic word. Squid, 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 squid. The word. Live from KSTP TV, St. Paul, Minneapolis, this is Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 6 30. Students pour out of one suburban high school for lunch today, but two weeks ago, a serious accident here has some parents calling for the school to keep the kids inside. It's part of every school day at high schools all through the is your This is your news. Or news weekend. Does a governor have the right to start an investigation into your news? Or news at six. The company KSTP uses for helicopter services has made news before. You may remember this dramatic rescue at St. Anthony Falls in the summer of 1991. But now a Channel 5 helicopter is in the news because it crashed. Five. Okay, Cindy, this is actually a helicopter that has KSTP logos all over, and it's a, it's a, it's a helicopter that the station leases often, but it's not, a, it's not a helicopter that the station owns. It's owned by another company. And today it was being leased by a company that has nothing to do with the television station. It's on reporting. Coming up, Rebecca Coles uh, gets her own scarecrow next, plus she has some winterizing tips for your garden. And then after weather, making sense with Kevin Berger. Want to turn your house into a haunted house in honor of Halloween? I'm Kevin Berger. Coming up, I'll give you a hand with some ideas that won't cost you an arm and a leg. You're watching 4 News at 6. And market madness on Wall Street as the Dow plunges. We're live. You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. 
Good evening, I'm Chris Raggy. I'm Christine Johnson. It is a gaping hole and no one knows when it will be fixed. Tonight we're getting an up close look at the destruction and the repair work going on at the site of the steam pipe explosion. That's it for us at five for Lonnie and the entire CBS2 News team. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Chris Raggy here with Dana Tyler and Jim Rosenfield. Now with the news at six. Guys. Thanks, Chris and Christine. And right now at six. I've answered all your questions about my knowledge, what I knew. It's not over. Tonight, another agency is investigating the alleged plot to take down one of Governor Spitzer's political rivals. Beneath the earth, we'll take you inside the hole left by last week's steam pipe explosion. Slimy strap hangers. Hear what's happening on the subways that many people are not reporting. You're watching CBS2 News in high definition. Good evening, I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Dana Tyler. A major development in the scandal surrounding Governor Elliott Spitzer's administration. The state at forward. A chilling report. Police say the men charged in the murder of a doctor's family broke into other homes the night before. I requested. I requested. One investigation. Governor Spitzer under fire as the Ethics Commission enters the fray. A special camp that gives young survivors a place where they can just be themselves. It's crazy. $42 for just over an hour. Just over an hour. And the most expensive parking in the nation and its effect on traffic congestion. You're watching NBC4 HD. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 11. Good evening. They could face death by lethal injection. Tonight, it could... That's it for News Channel 4 at 11. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno was straight ahead. Good night. Tomorrow morning, watch Today in New York. And for radio, traffic, news, and weather, tune to 1010 Winds. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right now on Fox 5 News at 10. A backyard swimming pool stolen. Now everyone is trying to figure it out. What happened to the water? Why police are baffled by this bizarre theft. Plus, a new entry into the Hall of Shame tonight. And Arnold's got the goods. I got this picture of you pulling your pants down. He's getting to the bottom of it. But first, she stopped to help an accident. I don't do nothing. Why police wound up arresting this good Samaritan. And all the drama caught on camera. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Gadastin. I'm Rosanna Scotto. All new at 10. The Many New Yorkers say they're just not buying it. They are... This is Eyewitness News, the news leader with Diana Williams, Sade Baderanois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. A lab technician accused of inappropriately touching a patient. Tonight, investigators want to know, are there other victims out there? And a horrible car crash. It kills five brothers and sisters from one family in the Bronx. Good evening, everyone, at 5 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter, in for Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Bitter. And while we begin with a developing story on Long Island, a lab... Back to the forecast coming up on Eyewitness News at 5. From mother to daughter, father to son, Eyewitness News is still the one. What's the facade? Limited time. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Please, please, I need to pick up my baby. 
A good Samaritan tonight demanding justice. A woman arrested by police after she helped them and an accident victim. And the arrest is captured on videotape. Mark Rose. KAAL Region 6, Austin. KAAL Region 6, Austin. And now, from your regional news station, this is the 10 o'clock edition of Region 6 News. Is this good for taking a small step toward WRC TV Washington? This is News 4 at 6 with Jim Vance, Doreen Gensler, Weather with meteorologist Bob Ryan, and Sports with George Michael. Now, News 4 at 6. From the U.S. courthouse to the White House, the message today has been loud and clear. The day of... Steve Ducey is away this week, so we're showing you... Tonight. We'd like to take the opportunity to thank some of the people here at News 4 who won Emmys this weekend, including Steve, for outstanding work in the past year. WRC-TV won the most Emmys for news coverage, and tonight we'd like to say congratulations. CBS 2 News this morning in high definition. Good morning. So glad you're with us, TGIF. I'm Kate Sullivan. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Yeah, it's July. You're watching New York One News all weekend. Details of our top stories coming up, but first a check of our Weather on the Ones. Time now for Weather on the Ones later on today. Next on My 9 News, we're on the scene minutes after an out-of-control car barrels through a bus stop, killing one person. Plus, two news helicopters collide in midair in Phoenix. Witnesses describe what they saw right before the crash. And the My 9 News exclusive. Why all this trash has been piling up for three months next. You know, I'm really glad we got a Toyota. And... Now, My 9 News at 10. Good evening. Brenda actually has the night off. We begin what could be a wet and wild weekend. Those thunderstorms packing quite a punch. They're expected to roll through our area tonight. They could hamper any plans that you may have for tomorrow and for Sunday. Here's all You're watching My 9 News at 10. Mosquitoes test positive for the West Nile virus in Queens. And tonight, the New York City... You're watching Channel 7, number one in New York. This is the news leader. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Six counties, two states, dozens of police cars. We're going to tell you the move. NECN, the power of news. You're watching New England's own 24-hour news channel. NECN, a Comcast News Network. Now, New England Midday on NECN. 
Hurricane Dean sets its sights on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. A new report says the leaks inside Boston's O'Neill Tunnel still aren't under control. And students at Virginia Tech return to class for the first time since the deadly shooting rampage. Good afternoon and welcome to New England Midday. I'm Christy Lee. And I'm Karen Swenson. Mike is off today. We'll have more on those. Now. WMUR News 9 tonight. Now with 11, Hurricane Dean still making its way through the Caribbean islands and sending tourists fleeing for safety. As Hurricane Dean passes Jamaica, it's got its sights set on the Cayman Islands and the Yucatan Peninsula. And Tropical Storm Erin swamps homes in Oklahoma, leaving residents trapped. What happened during one dramatic helicopter rescue? Senator Barack Obama hits New Hampshire once again and faces tough questions about his level of experience. Officials in Utah concede six trapped minors may never be found. The reaction from family members tonight. And it's welcome home for the owner of a Temple Inn finally back on track after facing some immigration problems. Good evening. Breaking news off the top tonight. The baby born earlier this month after... on the CW. Now on 7. Now at 10, Dean arrives in Jamaica with a bang, slamming the island with high winds and heavy rain. The storm already taking a deadly toll as the Mexican and U.S. coasts get ready for whatever Dean will dish out. A mother and father watching and waiting, their son stranded by Dean. New information on this major hurricane just in the latest forecast. The night team has big story coverage as Dean marches west. Dramatic rescues as people trapped by floodwaters hang on for dear life and some slip. And on the day Virginia Tech welcomes back students, a major disaster off campus. Now on CW56, this is 7 News at 10. Hurricane Dean is hammering the island of Jamaica tonight, the eye of the Category 4 storm passing just south of the island. This storm has already killed eight people in the Caribbean and left major destruction on the islands of St. Lucia and Martinique. Good evening. This very powerful hurricane is making its presence felt. Strong winds and NECN, the power of news. Now, Good Morning Live with Mike Nikitas, Karen Swenson, meteorologist Matt Noyes, and Scott Monbony with Metro Traffic. This is Good Morning Live on NECN. Good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. on this Friday, August 24th. It is good to have you with us on this uh, Friday morning, and Joe Joyce is in. You're watching New England's own 24-hour news channel. NECN. A Comcast News Network. Now, New England Weekend on NECN. Next on New England Weekend, outrage tonight over the death of a young Massachusetts boy at a local concrete plant. Watching CBS 47 News at 6 with Paige Kelton, Mark Spain, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish. Welcome back to CBS 47 News at 6. I'd like to... When it comes to money, nothing gets by me. Despite an unwinter-like condition, the carnival must go on, and it did, opening tonight in St. Paul. Just one of the items ahead on the 10 p.m. report. WCCO Television presents Don Shelby. Colleen Needles, Mike Fairborn, and Mark Rosen. This is the 10 p.m. report. Good evening. Our top story involves the ongoing investigation of West Germany. Here are tonight's winning numbers in the Wisconsin Megabucks Lottery. joining us tonight. <laughs>
10 o'clock news. From WCCO Television, the community's first choice for news in the 90s. This is Don Shelby, Colleen Needles, Mike Fairborn, and Mark Rosen. And this is the 10 o'clock news. Good evening, everyone. Leading our 10 p.m. report tonight in North Minneapolis tonight, a young boy lost. This is your news. Four news at six. These are some of the best known faces in Hollywood, but now. This is an ABC News special report. A presidential address to the nation and the Democratic response. Now reporting from Washington, Charles Gibson. Good evening. The president is about to address the nation on the... All involved with this war seem now to admit there are no good... Coming up next on News Channel 32, it's that time of year again. Shopping for school supplies without paying sales tax. We'll tell you which items are exempt and which are not. And a Jackson County man has been reunited with his dog, which had been stolen and sold for drug money and almost ended up in the fighting pit. Those stories and more, including sports, our Georgia journey, and the weekend weather forecast. News Channel 32 at 6 is next. Bart. News for Northeast Georgia. This is News Channel 32 at 6. Good evening. I'm Chuck Moore. Here's what's happening in Northeast Georgia. A Tacoa man is $1 million richer tonight. It was one week ago when 50... Hello, everybody. David Austin along with Michelle Austin and Robert Mitchell. We had a good time last week finding all about Alaska. And you never know who's going to show up on the Billy Dilworth Show, right, Michelle? That's right. And uh, we want to invite you to tune in this Saturday night, 7 and 11. Billy will be back. The Billy Dilworth Show right here on News Channel 32. Don't miss it. A lot of fun waiting for you every Saturday night at 7 and 11. A little girl hit on the highway while her mother watches in horror. Tonight, how a mailbox may have put her in harm's way. Plus, guilty. A jury convicts Eric Hands of setting the deadly hotel fire. Tonight, why families of the victims will still have to share their painful stories one more time. And it's just an hour away. Tonight, why you'll save more than ever this tax-free weekend. News Channel 7 at 11 starts now. Live from the News Center. This is News Channel 7, on your side at 11. Paint marks the pain of a little girl hit on an upstate highway. Central on My Network TV. Well, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Ted Hall. And I'm Karen Greer. Coming up, find out why authorities say a family of Kenyan immigrants fled to the U.S. and why that has some wondering if it played a part in the violent deaths of a mother and her daughters. And here why the leader of an immigrant's rights group has resigned. This in the middle of controversial changes to the law in one metro Atlanta county. Plus, what transportation officials say they found interesting about the bridge that collapsed in Minnesota this week. You're watching My 11 Alive News at 10 with Karen Greer. 11 Alive News is Atlanta's first newscast in high definition. And before we begin tonight's top 10 stories at 10, you get your forecast first, Ted. Let's head over to Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Let's head over to Chris now. Hot, and we got some more heat coming, right, buddy? That's Chris. right. More heat is on the way, and tonight that heat and humidity kind of... Coming up. And Pac-Man Jones may be off the field, but he's heading into the ring. The news is now. From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 6. I think that was a risk that uh, saved somebody else's life at the time. Or that Your news and information leader. Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. You're watching News Channel 5 at 6. With Vicki Yates, Rory Johnston, Chief Meteorologist Ron Howes, and Sports with Hope Hines. Watching Fox 17 News at 10. 
First on Fox tonight, the dog days of summer living up to their name yes. and really putting our air conditioners to the test. And it looks From touchdowns to smackdowns. Tennessee Titans, the Washington Redskins. The 2007 season begins here. First on My TV 30 Sports, Saturday, August 11th. Live coverage on My TV 30 begins at 6:30 with a Farm Bureau Insurance of Tennessee kickoff 2007 special. Your Tennessee Titans on My TV 30 Sports. You're watching My TV 30, WUXP, Nashville. You're watching News 2, WKRN, Nashville. TAP, DT, 15.2, Fox, Parkersburg. You're watching Fox, West Virginia, your Fox station for Southern West Virginia. Come home to WTAP TV 15 or digital 15.1. At this time, WAY Television, Oak Hill, West Virginia, concludes another broadcast day. WAY TV Channel 4 and DTV Channel 50. WAY Channel 4 transmits at 67.5 megahertz visual, 71.75 megahertz aural. And WAY DTV Channel 50 transmits at a pilot frequency of 686.309441 megahertz, as authorized by the Federal Communication Commission. WAY TV 4 and WAY DTV Channel 50 are owned and operated by the Thomas Broadcasting Company, with studio transmitters and offices located on Highway 1661, seven-tenths of a mile south of Oak Hill, West Virginia. On behalf of the staff and management at Thomas Broadcasting Company, we wish you a good night and good morning. WAY TV4, Oak Hill Beckley Bluefield. This is WVNS, the home of 59 News. 59 News This Morning begins right now. Your place for 11 Alive News at 10 is my ATL TV, Atlanta's destination station. Everybody wants you. You're home for time. We You're watching Georgia Public Broadcasting, your PBS Kids station for Atlanta and all of Georgia. WTCI, proudly serving Chattanooga, North Georgia, and the entire Tennessee Valley. Explore Kentucky. Explore the world. This is KET1. This is East Tennessee CW. Your place for Smallville. is a paid commercial program. It's what you want, My 64 Cincinnati. Still standing, weeknights at 6 here on Ohio Valley's CW. My Classic Comedies on My YTV. Weekdays from 9 to noon. At 9, it's I Love Lucy. At 9.30, it's the Beverly Hillbillies. At 10, it's the Andy Griffith Show. Then, followed by My Three Sons at 10.30. With Happy Days at 11. And Laverne and Shirley at 11.30. It's My Classic Comedies on My YTV. Weekdays from 9 to noon. 
serving Parkersburg, Marietta, and the entire Mid-Ohio Valley. This is WTAP News at 11. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Green. A Meg's You're watching WTAP News at 11 with Elizabeth Green, Kirk Greenfield with the weather, and Jim Wharton with sports. Welcome back. President Bush and Britain's new Prime Minister Gordon most watched news team. This is NBC6 at 11. Keeping your yard safe, that's tonight's top story. Good evening everyone, I'm Leanne Woodbury. Well, with all the recent rains, conditions have been ideal for a new All right, have a great night. You're watching N Get your severe weather information first with Storm Tracker 59 Instant Alert. Police are on the lookout for suspects in an early morning stabbing. We'll have an update straight ahead. And drug investigators in our area are looking into the discovery of a meth lab. We'll have the very latest. Plus, high school kids are practicing for the upcoming football season. We'll tell you how the hot weather could be dangerous for them. And obviously, it could be a little dangerous for other people, too. And it looks like there's not much relief from that heat in sight. Details right here on 59 News Live at 5. You're watching WVNS 59 News, the area's fastest growing newscast. 59 News Live at 5 begins right now. Police are waiting to talk with a stabbing victim before making an arrest. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alicia Suka. Steve Ring is on assignment. Beckley. 59 News is teaming up with local law enforcement, warning you about criminals on the run, fugitives that could be hiding out right here in our community. Your tips could help the police catch them and put them behind bars. Watch The Fugitive Files, Wednesdays on 59 News at 6. 59 News Live at 5 with Alicia Suka, Steve Reed, and Storm Tracker 59 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Spencer Adkins. 59 News, providing information about your town, your state, and your future. Now, the most advanced forecasting technology available Storm Tracker 59 Weather, home of the area's only live Doppler radar. Hello, everybody. Well, we do have. This is News Watch 4 live at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for News Watch 4 at 6. I'm Kiki Vensel. Beckley police are investigating an early morning stabbing that sent one person to the hospital. Here in Fayetteville, there's an eternal flame memorialized. Thank you for joining us tonight for News Watch 4 at 6. World News with Charles Gibson is coming your way next. Your Storm Team 12 to the point forecast powered by Titan Radar. Well, Titan Radar is dry as of now and temperature is still quite warm. 82. Live from WDEF News 12 at 11 starts now. Good evening, I'm Bill Mitchell. Thanks for joining us for News 12 at 11. Divers today. WDSI in Chattanooga, the right news at the right time. Fox 61, first at 10. A few North Georgia residents are busted for making moonshine. Tragedy in Minnesota causes some crews in Tennessee to reinspect bridges for your safety. And a runner dies during a road race in Chattanooga today. Your news, weather and sports first. Fox 61 first at 10 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kay Blevins. First on Fox tonight, a 19-year-old college student died this morning while running. Face the Nation with CBS News Chief Washington Correspondent Bob Schieffer. And now from CBS News in Washington, Bob Schieffer. Good morning again. We're well, joining us right here on Face the Nation. This broadcast was produced by CBS News which is solely responsible for the selection of today's guests and topics. It originated in Washington, D.C. CBS News.
experience you can trust. It's violent, bloody. 16 now bring to a close their broadcast day. WSIU-TV and WUSI-TV are owned and operated by Southern Illinois University at Carbondale as part of the SIUC Broadcasting Service. They are licensed by the Federal Communications Commission to operate on Channel 8 in Carbondale and Channel 16 in Olney. Portions of our programming are presented on film and videotape recordings. Public Broadcasting for Southern Illinois, WSIU-TV, Channel 8, Carbondale, and WUSI-TV, Channel 16, Olney.